The show for me goes back to Puerto Rico when I was a kid and knowing that Rita Moreno won the Academy Award for portraying Anita in the movie. So that was a big deal in Puerto Rico. <laughs> so I start with that, right? And I remember that and being impacted by the colors and the dancing and the singing and everything all at once. So that's how it started. And then I was such a lucky son of a gun that I end up in New York City very young, also 19, 20 years old. And about a year and a half later, I booked my first Broadway show with Mr. Jerome Robbins in a show called Jerome Robbins Broadway, which marked his comeback to the Broadway scene. He had been away for about 20 years since wow. Fiddler on the Roof and had dedicated himself to more straightforward uh, ballet, uh -huh. like he had done all his life, but it, during that period, he had not done anything on Broadway. So I was, I was just really, really, really fortunate. Um, I was in the room <laughs> with, you know, the, the composers would come and work with us, and they were Leonard Bernstein, Stephen Sondheim, Julie Stein. They would come and go, okay, guys, let's go. You know, so I was like, Wow. A little bit naive, but good naive because talented enough to get in, but ignorant enough to not be influenced and not being too nervous. And so I think Robbins appreciated young energy yeah. that was just courageous and clueless. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, before he hired me for the show, he, myself and a couple of other colleagues, young, young dancers at the time and actors, singers, he sent us, we were auditioning, you auditioned for him, it was like 10 different callbacks. He called you back 10 times to, to see if he wanted you. And uh, be, halfway through that process, he decided he was gonna send a few of us to do a West Side Story that was happening somewhere else that was staged by one of his repetitors, one of his rehearsal masters. And we went and learned the show by doing the full length musical. In Jerome Robbins Broadway, we did a section of West Side Story. And he called it the Suite of Dances, West Side Story Suite. That version is the one I learned from him directly. And that's the version that goes on to ballet companies and they include some, it's included in the repertories of some ballet companies all over the world. What I'm having fun with is not only passing that material on to this new generation, but I think that I can honor it now. And recently, about four years ago, the estate contacted me and said, uh, we would love for you to, to teach what you learned from him. And uh, I thought, I I'm, still, I, I'm still acting, but I thought that sounds like a great idea for me because after studying acting for all those years, I feel like now I can understand Mr. Robbins' original intentions, which was to very much marry dance and acting. I feel like now I feel comfortable speaking his language in guiding these actors through the dance. The dance doesn't work if you don't have the interpretive acting aspect. Yeah. And I don't know that I could have done that 20 years ago when I was still figuring out what acting was about. Now I, f I can really actually enjoy the piece and understand the, the brilliance and, and how, how well researched and how well structured it is.